So welcome to the Fed Brunch <laughs> session. Um, my name is Jens Peterson. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of funny yeah, doing this uh, with no uh, visual feedback. And it's particularly when presenting, you can't see any, even the chat or anything. So it's a little bit daunting, but um, hopefully everything will work out right, well. Um, let me uh, get rid of this. Um, so, um, yeah, these are actually the slides. So, this talk is about a new tool called F Branch or Fed Branch or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, um, first, I want to say good morning and good afternoon, um, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Um, thanks for joining the session. Um, so, uh, what is F branch? Um, so, F branch is a new tool which kind of well makes life easier for Fedora packages. Um, so it's kind of you can think of it a bit like a layer of a f or a Fed package. I mean, F E D F K G. I haven't actually written it down in the slides, but um, and basically it does. Well, the idea is to kind of make life easier and do more things slightly more automatically. So, originally, FedBranch came out of the idea of uh, being able to build a, a package update across, say, all the current uh, releases or current branches. So that's why the word branch is in the name because it's yeah. And then later, I added also like interactions with package reviews and Bugzilla related to that. So uh, it's quite easy to, yeah, I mean, I mean, it doesn't do that much more than on the, on the Fedora create review, but it does a few more checks and also it can update package reviews. So which is something that uh, the current tooling can't do, I think. Um, and, and things like it, it can do mock builds and stuff like that. Um, also building packages, so yeah, well we talked a bit about it. It also merges, can merge offers to merge branches and stuff like that. And also it, it works both for disk git and non-disk git. So I mean certain commands, obviously not all commands, but um things like local builds, you can build uh, non-disk git packages locally and um create SRPMs and whatnot. And well, but, but, well, for some people, maybe the killer feature is that it can do parallel builds. So it sort of goes rather beyond the chain build that's supported by Fed package, um, where um, where you can do chain builds there, but you have to kind of set them up manually. And uh, um, so yeah, we'll go into a bit more detail about that. And there are various other things it can also do. Also, just recently, it can also do copper builds now, incremental copper builds. So. Um, yeah, okay. So, there's a very short history here, but I think I covered some of this already. But it's sort of, yeah, it sort of started off, like I said, as a simple idea of just building across packages and then gradually gained various more features. Um, some of the sort of Build related stuff comes from a, some tool I had for Haskell uh, called Fedora Haskell Tools. It's not in Fedora, but it's a, a project on GitHub. Um, and but a lot of those, not well, many of those, could be generalized beyond just the particular those particular packages. So yeah. <clears throat> um, so let's look at a little more closely at some of the features and use cases. Um, so first, package reviews. Um, maybe I can do a quick demo, maybe. Um, I'll, I'll try and sort of interleave it demo. Oops. Um, oh, it's a bit small. So let's look at uh, the... No, I'm rather tired and nervous, but okay. Let, let's look at a random package. Um, oh, it's not here. In the wrong directory. Um, okay. 
Let's see if we could even create a package review for this thing. Um, okay, create review. Oh, it also has completions now uh, using bash completion. Um, and I think that might be enough, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so now it's noticed that I haven't got a valid Bugzilla login, so I now need to uh, remember my password. <laughs> Okay, that might work. And okay, and that didn't work. Okay, so I forgot to pray to the demo gods. Um, let's see, oh, let me try that again. I think I typed my password wrong. Uh, I was afraid I would get my password wrong. Okay, this looks better now. I'm, I hope it's not going to do a mock build because then it will take a long time. But, um, okay, so it's it's also run on RPM lint now and noticed a few warnings, but they don't look too bad. So, most of the usual kind of spot checking stuff. Uh, there's no version in the last change log. Okay, I don't need to fix that later. Let's try submitting that. <coughs> See what happens. <coughs> Oh, okay, so now it does a code scratch bond. All right, we'll come back to that later, maybe. <coughs> um, um, oh, um, oh dear. My <laughs> demo is going really well. Uh, something failed. Um, PM header can't be extracted. That's bad news, isn't it? Mm. Try one more time. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. <clears throat> I think it's probably going to fill in. PM's header can't be extracted. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> maybe not today. <laughs> So, oh, um, and well, it, it does. It does. It has worked. Um, and um, yeah, okay, that's not so interesting because I mean, as I said, Fedora create review can already do that. But you can also update a package review in the same way. You can, if I had already submitted the review, I could now write. Say I have some changes I need to make to the package. I can now write fit branch update review, and it will. It will. Um, create a new SRPM and upload it to um, Fedora people and post a comment on the review bug. Um, okay. And let's see if this works. Uh, there's a f branch uh, reviews command which lists my open um, open reviews. Um, maybe I'll get out of here. Okay, something worked. So these are some of the reviews. Um, actually, they're all been finished, I think. Uh, I think they've all been built in Rawhide, and I left them open to maybe back, back build them too. And uh, yeah, and there's, it has various, um, you can do some filtering like only list approved reviews or unapproved or unbranched and stuff like that. Or ones that have had um, repos requested and whatnot. And yeah, maybe just to give an idea, I, um, um, this is a list of all the commands. Um, um, yeah, I'm not sure what the list here. Um, all right, I need to be wary of time, I think. So, we're 10 minutes past. Okay, let's move on. Um, so, next. Interesting use cases building packages. Um, so that so Fed F branch build uh, has various options, and what, so the minus B option means build all active branches, like so it'll build Rawhide, Fedora 32, Fedora 31, um, possibly, possibly Apple if you have Apple branches. Um, 
you can also specify specific branches to build. Um, it'll offer to merge newer changes you have in the newer branch to the older branch. And there's also a command line option to kind of do that without asking. Um, um, it, it also does things like it checks for an existing code you build. Uh, it also checks for a Kerberos ticket. Um, and it'll push your builds to Bodhi um, um, at the end of the builds. Um, OK. Um, and if you have multiple packages, I, I think currently it builds by branch. So it'll build package one for Rawhide, package two for Rawhide, package three for Rawhide, and it'll go to Fedora 32 and build it constantly. But maybe we could do it the other way too. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll keep going because I'm not sure I think time is maybe short. Um, then there's various local commands. Um, for example, you can do a local build, like Fed, Fed package also can, but you can also do that for, for a non diskit um, package, like for something like your review, like a, something hasn't been packaged yet in Fedora or a corporate package or something. You can also install, um, so unlike Fed package install, this actually installs the packages in your system. So this is quite useful for like testing or if you're doing when you're doing some local packaging and you want to test this stuff at first before pushing it out, and then you can do that. Um, and yeah, and you can use the sort command um, to actually order the packages in dependency order. Um, no raise other command, I mean, obvious ones and clone. I mean, so obviously you can just do fed package clone and so on, but the difference is with Bref branch, you can you can clone multiple packages at once. And in fact, you can, there's a user option. Um, so you can, uh, if you do user, it'll clone, it'll look in Pagora for all your packages and it will actually clone all of them. So yeah, which can take quite a lot of time if you have a lot of packages, but anyway. And then, yeah, there's some things like prep and mock, and you can also install, basically the same as build up, but there's install depths and diff, which is useful for if you're looking at many packages. Um, uh, there's also a switch command to switch branch, but um, yeah. the, the, most of these also have obviously branch options and whatnot, so. Um, okay. And that was most of the demos, really. I don't know if I have. Okay, it's now 13 past. I'm not sure if there's any other interesting commands to show. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, also there's a clone switch for switching branch status. Uh, I think we're going to come to that one actually. That just shows you the status, of, build status of the package across branches. Um, we'll talk about parallel later. Um, yeah, and uh, okay, bugs. We'll list the bugs, oh, open bugs for a package. Um, and you can, yeah, request repos. But request repos actually looks at your approved um, pack package reviews and then it will automatically create tickets in Pagora for those. Um, and, and similarly, import will also, you can't give it a list of packages, but you can, it'll also just find the um, approved packages which have now had repos created and import those, um, downloading the package from Bugzilla links. Um, there's also request branches, um, okay, which by default, I think will create for the latest two releases. Um, and yeah, we'll come to the Copra maybe later this time. All right, um, I wanted to pause for a moment, but I think I'll better continue plow through and see if there's any time at the end for any questions or discussion. I don't know how this all works. Um, so yeah, full disclosure. <laughs> so branch is written in Haskell, which sometimes raises some eyebrows uh, in Fedora, but that's, yeah, that's what it is. Um, I'm, I quite like Haskell. I like the type safety and uh, it's very easy to refactor and I mean, you can really refactor code with a lot of um, yeah, um, confidence in Haskell. So it makes 
developing quite a pleasure. It's quite good for this kind of script like programming too. Um, and so currently it so called reads or queries Fedora services natively. Um, so there are libraries with sort of um, yeah, web a API bindings for Pago and Koji and Bodhi and Copra and also um, Bugzilla. Well Bugzilla is not was created by someone else, but um, um, this is Bugzilla Red Hat because the Red Hat Bugzilla is slightly very slightly different from the standard upstream Bugzilla. Um, some of the fields have become lists basically, just a few but and but well, I say but, but yeah, it's still using Python clients for writing, so to speak. I mean, in other words, for pushing um, builds. And, and that's mostly because of authentication. I haven't quite gone around to uh, um, yeah, implement or getting or auth or whatever working. Um, yeah. um, OK, so let's talk about parallel building. So this is sort of interesting, at least for some people. Um, so what this does is it, um, well, firstly, it uses this library or tool called RPM build order, which is, is already a package in Fedora, um, but it's also now a library. And basically that can do create dependency graphs and the uh, sorting and dependency layers of packages. And then an F branch parallel uh, also uses this Haskell async library. So it, it kicks off builds in the in the sort of uh, the main thread, but then it uses threads to monitor the build progress and wait on the wait repos and so on in the background. So it can actually build quite a lot of packages in parallel, um, and it it uses um, uh, background mode in Koji, so it's the, the got low priority builds. So hopefully, it shouldn't overwhelm the build system too much. Um, yeah, um, it. I think it's nice to use side repos for this. I may even make that more or less mandatory later. I don't know. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Um, and recently, I, I refreshed all the Haskell packages for Fedora 33, so I built around 500 packages, and and they save me a heap of time. Actually, it usually takes like more than a week, I guess, to get all the packages through. Even there was some scripting, but this I could do it in a few days. So. I thought I was going to be late for the uh, freeze, but I had extra time to spare. Actually, so. um, time is it? Okay. Um, then I had another tool called CoBranch. Uh, so you may also like CoBranch, which you can basically do staggered copra builds. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like pushing my builds out to copra. Just building everything and ending up with a dozen failures or something. So what this does is that it, it'll, do, well, there are various options uh, it supports, but um, um, we can sort of do various variations. But by default, it will build, say, first for Rawhide x86, uh, 64, and then, then 32, and 31, and then, well, um, say Apple 8 or whatever. And then, then it'll go on to other arches doing, um yeah but you can also do other versions you can build by release or build by arch or um, stuff like that um, um or or you can do the default single build which is what the copper client does basically which is pushing everything out at once so if you're confident um and just recently i also added a exclude branch thing now so this is maybe more useful even for copper sometimes say like earlier, I did a build where I wanted to exclude Apple 7 because it doesn't build on Apple 7. So, um, yeah. All right, let's keep going. So, I just wanted to give a thanks to some of the earlier testers and adopters and sort of, yeah, have been uh, testing F branch mostly for my Copra build. Um, I twist on Mike, Elliot, um, the followers, and a few other people who. Um, I mean, I haven't really announced it very widely yet. I mean, it's been sort of coming up a bit in uh, um, IRC mostly, um, a few places. So, yeah. Um, so, what's next? Um, well, one thing is to package it, uh, actually get it into Fedora. At the moment, it's only in Copra. 
Um, and actually that also requires uh, building a few, uh, releasing some of the, those libraries I mentioned. Um, that, well, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, I could even bundle some of them maybe uh, as, as sort of modules or something. As, but anyway. And the other thing I'd like to do is make do the take the parallel building to the next stage. So actually do full graphic builds rather than, at the moment it's doing these dependency layers. That means it, say, it finds that there's, I don't know, 10 packages in the first layer and then eight packages in the second layer and then three or five more packages in the next layer. But, but if you have one very big package in one of the layers, it will slow down everything, well, slow down things a bit. So if we, not building by layers, but actually just following the graph, well, that could actually speed up things even more than it uh, would be more parallel. So, um, yeah. Um, well, there's a, there's quite a few uh, other, well, sort of small fix me's and things in the source code and stuff. But, um, and uh, yeah, I think I cover most of it. So yeah, the source code is on GitHub. There's a, as I said, there's a copper repo. You can install it um, today. And various people have been using it. And I don't know, generally, yeah, I have been having uh, positive feedback. And, and I appreciate some of the uh, feature requests and bug reports uh, I've been getting. For example, one, um, QLogic asked me to improve the rendering of um, cycles. Um, so if you have, if you have cyclic dependencies in your, in your package set, then uh, I think I have here some example. Um, just try and sort these. Um, I think it. Okay, I need to specify a branch. Um, takes a moment. Um, yeah, so this, so actually this page has got a few dependencies, so it's, it's not a good example in that sense, but anyway, um, yeah, so I think uh, Elliot's trying to um, improve this, and so yeah, so there's a bootstrap uh, build cond, uh, oh, I think I got that wrong, uh, I thought that was, um, hang on. I confuse myself. Mm. Hang on. So it's worth it, right? So, ah, maybe I typed it in the wrong place. I think I'm too tired. Okay. Um, anyway, so these are all sub cycles listed here, but if you turn on the, oh God, what do you, um, if you turn on the bootstrap, um, build config, then it will make things a bit better, I think. Um, okay, yeah, now you can see there's several cycles, but there's only a few. Anyway, I mean, this is a bit of a sort of corner case, or I don't know, I mean, or extreme case. I mean, generally, there aren't that well. Obviously, if you try to sort the whole distro, there's lots of cycles around like dependencies, but for small old package sets, it's not that common, but uh, so. Let me see, are there any questions? How much time? Okay, it's 25 past. I don't know if I'm out of time already, but um, let's see. Um, how to get it? Okay, so it's in Copra, yeah. Um, that's the best way to get it. Um, okay, I've got, got a few minutes, thank you. And anyone got any other questions? I don't, I, th I don't think there's audio questions, but I think you can put questions in the chat. Um, Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> but, all right, I don't think. Did you get it already? Okay. Well, I think my password was wrong, right? So you didn't see it, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, skipping for package because, well, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I'm, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really out to destroy fed package or anything, I mean, but, um, but yeah, possibly. Um, I'm, I mean, at the moment, it's still, that package is still a dependency of uh, F branch, but um, but yeah, maybe in the long term it might be possible. I cut it. I can figure out with a password. Oh, ah, oh, the log. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, there was a log, but the log contained my wrong password, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, mistyped password, but yeah. Okay, I'll, oh, I need to repeat the questions, of course. Yes, anyway. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any other questions. I think so. Yeah, I'll update my uh, password. Um, any other questions about Footbench? Just wondering if there's anything else I can show you. Um, I think I didn't show the status. Um, okay, so let's look at, well, this isn't a very interesting example, but um, so the first is doing a git fetch, and then it tells you, since I didn't specify oh, the branches, it tells me the branches, and then it shows the tags and builds of the current branches. So, so if there are local changes in here, then it will uh, mention those elements or summarize the git commits and things. Um, check if there's anything else. Um, right, the bugs, let's see, ah, okay, let me see, um, okay, how can people help with packaging this? Um, well, like, if, I mean, the big help would be helping with the package reviews, um, and yeah, so, Michelle said I should put in a plug for the Haskell SIG. Yeah, so we're actually quite low on resources. Um, we have a few superheroes like uh, Robert, Andrew, and so on who help a lot with package reviews, but um, so that would really be welcome. And I mean, long term, we really need more help also just maintaining and helping with the updating and so on since it's some work. Um, Okay, so let's try and look at bugs. I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, let's look at this one, maybe. I'm not trying to pick on anything, but I think I happen to know this one probably has some bugs, so. so there you go, it's listed the open get text bugs. Um, okay. Um, um, in this case, there's pings. So I, I didn't understand about the ping question. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, um, okay. I think there's two minutes until it's half past, so I may be out of time. Uh, Ah, okay, do I get pings? I don't know, I'm not sure. I actually turned off notifications to not distract myself. Um, that was a good question. Um, maybe, I don't know if I get pinged or not, actually. Um, yeah, that's a good question. All right, any last final questions? Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so just to summarize again, so yeah. You can install from the Copra and um, yeah, just to prove that originally it was called Fed Branch. There you go, uh, is the CI in, in Travis. Um, and also, our pin builder is also in Fedora. So, all right, I think I'm out of time. So, thank you very much. Thanks for joining the session. I uh, hope it was useful and. Uh, if you have any feedback, um, yeah, we welcome any uh, feedback, bug reports, uh, feature requests, and so on. <laughs>